Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. Today we're going to make this card using the Garden Wishes uh, stamp set, the Dandy Garden DSP, and the Dandy Wishes stamps or dies that come with the Garden Wishes set. So the saying on this one is, your acts of kindness are like a breath of fresh air. And the reason I chose this one today is because I want to basically use it as a shout out to all those people who leave me such wonderful comments on my videos. You really do inspire me and I am so touched when you reach out and say, oh, this is an awesome idea. I'm going to case this card or, hey, you know what? I do this one as a happy birthday card. I love getting your ideas and, and hearing your uh, stories and what you would like to see, um, any stamp sets that you'd like to see featured. So I really appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that you subscribed. So if you're watching and you're not a subscriber, um, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Um, I post usually four to five videos a week. Sometimes it's a bit more than that. Depends on how my time is going. Um, so anyway, this card is, is a shout out to everybody who absolutely does, um, use their kindness in their comments and it really does make my day and I do read all the comments and respond to all the comments. So thank you very much. Anyway, to get started with this card, it is on Bumblebee cardstock and there's quite a few elements to it. So I have actually started with a few. You are going to need for the greeting, you're going to need a piece of Bumblebee in one and three eighths by three and a half and a piece of the white card stock in uh, one and a quarter by three and a quarter, which I have stamped and I need to stamp on this side now. You will need um, a piece of Bumblebee in two and a quarter by four and a half, and then a piece of the uh, designer series paper in two by four and a half to go over top of it. You will need a piece of uh, three by three in white to go with the stitched shape die. Um, and you'll need about a three and a half by three and a half or three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of bumblebee to go in the layering square die with the scalloped edge. As always, you'll need a five and a quarter by four piece of designer series paper and a standard um, card base. So let's get started with what we can actually just put together right away. So I'm just going to move my pieces around here. Um, these are the stamps that we're going to be using. Um, and this is the die that I've used and I've already pulled out the, um, I've already done those so that we don't have to to take the time to do those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, put some adhesive on this one. This um, Dandy Wishes designer series paper is amazing. Like, look at that. That's the back. We're using this side here. It's just so versatile and it's got such gorgeous detail in it. It really, really is um, a good set. So I am going to glue down my designer series paper. Again, it's two by two or two by four and a half onto my mat. And then we can attach that. Uh, the only thing that I've dimensionalized is actually the main piece in the middle. So all of this we can just do and get all these pieces out of the way right off the giddy up. And we can stick that down and I just kind of put it in just like that only I did it straight there we go just like that okay so now we are going to I'm just going to pop my uh, color and enamel dots up there and I'll put this here we need to stamp the central piece um, so to do that I'm going to take my multiple dandelion stamp and my old olive ink pad. Um, we're actually going to be using these flowers as the uh, accents here. So it doesn't matter if you don't stamp all of this. You can, if you want to, you can just ink it up. We are going to be trimming this down. So we will lose a certain amount at the bottom. So I'm just gonna place that down like that. 
knowing that I'm going to need room to put my floral piece on after I've done my die cutting. So that's what we need for this one. And then what I did just to accent the um, flowers here is I actually stamped right over top of them with Bumblebee in using the little, uh, I don't call it, call it the puff ball, but using the puff ball from the uh, stamp set. And I just kind of laid it down in the middle just so that I've got just that little bit of detail on them. Just add some interest to them, that's all. You don't have to do this, or you can use your enamel dots if you want to, um, and just put them around in a circle to kind of make a 3D middle if you like. Uh, while I've got the, um, the bumblebee out, I am going to stamp my greeting. So I'll just pop it out here. And it's this one here, your acts of kindness are like a breath of fresh air. I'll get my block and I'll just put it on like that. Now these ones are the cling stamps. They are not the um, photopolymer. So if you're not quite sure how straight your sticker is on the die, this is where you're, or on the block, your this is where your grid paper comes in really handy because before you stamp on your actual piece, when you've got your, you have to stamp away to make sure it's inked anyway, but you can line it up on your grid paper to see how it comes out. If it comes out square on your grid paper and see mine, I lined it up square, but it's come out just a little bit this way. So I know I need to tilt when I do this, I need to tilt this just ever so slightly this way because my stamp is actually not square with the um, sticker. So that's got that done and I can actually stick it down to my piece of bumblebee here. And then we can just line that up like that and that piece is ready to go. So what I need to do now is close my ink pad before I put my finger in it. Uh, we're going to run this through with the stitched shapes um, die, just like this, so that we've got um, enough room to put our flowers on, but that we've still got some leaves. So I'm just going to run that through the uh, machine here on a point again so that we don't have that hard edge up against the roller. We'll take it out and we can layer that up so that's how it looks just like that and we can layer it up on the background now it just just fits on the background the scallop just is that skinny edge and that's kind of what I wanted with this one now two of these little dandelion heads are on uh, or flat onto the card front and then two or the one is um, up on a dimensional and we've got a little bit of the greenery in the background which is not a big deal it's all good so I'm just going to grab a dimensional and I'm going to cut it in half because it's these longer pieces are too big so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to put those little halves back to back. Uh, I love dimensionals. I use them a lot. I, like I say, I even cut the edges and use all of the edges. I never throw away a sheet um, with any kind of dimensional piece still on it. So then I'm just going to place this down like this. You center it so it overlaps. And then I'm going to use dimensionals on this to add it to the front of the card. So I'm just going to place my edge pieces. I've just trimmed them up so that they're kind of two bumps each. And uh, that they're really good that way for doing these square edges. So I'm just pop that down. 
and peel them off. And I'm just about done with that. And then we place it down. You can place it where you like. I like it kind of mid page, but offset. And then we need to dimensionalize this as well. So I'm just going to peel off and that makes this the last two dimensionals on this sheet. So I can actually throw that sheet away knowing that I've got maximum use out of it. And I'm just gonna peel those off and then I can put this down and then I'm going to add my uh, dots to it. So I just have this set up so that there's a little bit on each side and then it's straight. And I've done it a little bit higher on this one than I did on this one. If I wanna move it down, I can. This one, I've got kind of a, a bit of a white space there, but sometimes if the card is really busy, a little bit of white space isn't a bad idea. It just lets the eye rest. I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I'm gonna add some bumblebee enamel dots to the card. And I try and place them randomly so there's no structure to it. Um, I'm big on structure, so sometimes it can be difficult for me to do that. <laughs> but uh, and I'll add two to the greeting and we are done. So we'll just pop one down here. And pop another one just up here. And that's the card done. So I did do it as a shout out thank you to all my subscribers and commenters. I so do appreciate you all and thank you very much for watching. As usual, if there's anything you'd like to purchase, it, the items will be in the comments below. So thank you very much and we will see you next time.